Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ray Torn and welcome back to Millennia. So the first thing we're going to be doing in today's episode is using our engineering experience because we actually have the ability to now turn our towns into level 3. And so if we just took a look at what we're currently getting before we did that. You know, we're getting the 8 wild and the 6 production here. And so after we've changed them to a level 3 town, we'll now be getting the 12 wild, uh, 12 wild and 9 production. And so we're going to want to go ahead and do that with all of our towns. Or at least all the ones that are getting good uh, adjacency bonuses. We'll start with those. Uh, so you're getting the three here. They don't really need food in this location, but it'll be helpful later. They could use more production. Could use that one there. Uh, Naples does need more food, so we use it here. That gets us up to the 196% modifier. And we can do this two more times. So yeah, let's go ahead and do it here. And I know that... This one here doesn't have very many adjacency bonuses, but they are just a level one currently. So let's go ahead and at least get them the, the well from having these two things next to it. And so our wealth is now at 128 per turn, so not too bad. We do need to specialize them. Uh, we'll probably just make them a mining town, even though as of right now, that's not gonna grant us any additional benefits. No change to production because we don't have any mines and these two locations but there's nothing else that would really be a, a good choice here unless you're going to do farm right here and then you get the two farming ones but i think what we're going to do is get them a new town once we're able to once we have the tech to do that so this would be rome's first farming town so they get the two plantation bonuses here you can construct farms in these two locations and one right here so it's almost practically surrounded by uh, the farming improvements so very good uh, bonus to food which will be helpful for rome a bit later. Now somebody asked about integrating your outposts into an existing city. You can do that. That's a cultural power. So it's the same as creating a town. It's the absorb outposts. So the only rules are that it needs to touch the borders of that region. So we'd have to get the borders up to here. But it's really not the, the best location here. If we wanted a farming town, this one's clearly the best. We could put the town here, get rid of this outpost, and it would still have the roads connecting here. So it's fine for roads as well. And then you have the roads that go all the way from this town, so from Rome, all the way down to Kyoto. As of right now, we have a little gap here between our roads currently. And so yeah, that's what we would uh, where we'd put it. Because otherwise, you leave it here, and it doesn't connect to this town. Okay, I think that's the best location, guys. So that doesn't mean we'll lose 75% of the points we spent here on these trade posts, and, uh, the trade posts, because we would destroy those. Uh, so that Rome can instead absorb this and then add plantations. But that's fine. It happens sometimes, you know, you do waste some of your points. At least you get a quarter of them back. And so that's what we, what we do as soon as Rome was able to get three towns. Uh, the other thing we can go ahead and do with our points here before we end our turn is to promote the cultural exports in one of our cities, one of our vassals, because that gives you the 50% prosperity. And, you know, I think Asaka is just a little too closed in here guys they could certainly get all this here but there's really not much room to expand you can go this way but then you're kind of competing with kyoto going up there as well as ravenna will be taking some of this over go over this way you got ito right there can't go south really and so perhaps this place is just a little too close closed in and so it would be a prime uh, suspect for boosting because of their high population and, and all the improvements they already have uh, for boosting their current prosperity. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'll get us a lot more here. Some more uh, wealth, knowledge, culture, and improvement points. All things that we very much need. Alright, so let's go ahead and enter turn after we got those couple things done there. But yeah, I think uh, getting those level 3 towns is going to be pretty helpful. Just the extra wealth production and food that we're getting. So that's what we'll be using our engineering experience as we get it. Uh, currently earning only eight per turn though, so that will be a slower process. Let's go ahead and continue with the Mount Fuji expedition. This is the conclusion. 90% chance of success, you'd think we would succeed. This is 100 engineering XP and 50 culture. And so we use that engineering XP right now, or as soon as we finish moving all these guys here. And you know what, I think this is the end here. Yep, that's the end. You can go over this way. We can see what's, what's over there. I uh, could also bring them over here, but we do have those two. Yeah, we got these two guys that can take care of this. It probably doesn't go any further. Probably just, uh, you know, I don't even know if we can go in there because this is all Aztec territory. So we might just have to leave that unrevealed. 
Uh, so we have finished with the Tropical Rainforest here, so now we're going to Tall Mountain next. Gonna be a little slower movement because of the hills there. And then these guys, let's let them heal up and have these barbarians go after them. If they attack us here, not only do you get the forest bonus, but you also get the, uh, the river crossing. And these guys are almost to where we're sending them. I don't know if they can win, but we're just trying to get them some experience. And then, are we ready to use this guy? We are. We did just get the culture. So we'll use this first culture power to do the local reforms again. We'll go ahead and do that in Rome since they no longer have the, the bonus that they did. And so that's helpful. And then the next one, well, let's go ahead and first get that next one. And then with the next one, uh, we could do the Eureka for 130 knowledge. Try and knock out these techs. A little bit quicker. Uh, there's also locations where we can construct towns. We have three locations. For Naples, I think we're gonna get a lumber town. We could also do a coastal town. So if you put one, say, I don't know, right here or whatever, or even here, this might be better. And you get a lot of wealth from uh, any improvements you construct around it. But yeah, I don't know. That's really the best way to go because uh, of the fact that, first of all, we're kind of far away from there. So we gotta get all these tiles. Uh, also wealth is just not as useful. I think the better option is instead to get a lumber town. Now, getting over to here wouldn't be that difficult. You only need to like buy one tile here, just wait until you uh, uh, get this naturally. And then you can have three adjacency bonuses for the lumber. Or you can wait till you get here and then you can completely surround it with adjacency bonuses. And it doesn't get better than that. But that's a little bit further away. And we can't really purchase tiles at this moment because we're trying to save up to get to get the insight. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking with Naples. Uh, Gaul and Constantinople don't really have to get the towns right now. So I think it would be better to go ahead and get the, the Eureka, just move through these tacks a little bit faster. Just make sure we're keeping our lead. I know we're, we're still pretty well ahead of the AI here. Uh, but this is nice to get that lifting tower. That's three improvement points, and that's something we've been very short on in this playthrough, uh, much more than I usually am. And I think, again, I mentioned this last episode, I think it's because we need to get the uh, the clay tech. And so we weren't getting the improvement points from that resource. Because usually, by this age, I'm like swimming in improvement points. That hasn't been the case for this one. Uh, but this one's also useful, useful for the sanitation, so you don't have to use your population to get more sanitation, uh, more housing. And yeah, here's the uh, the trash heap, so you can make better use of your population that's working on the uh, midden currently. So with the public works uh, already gotten, let's go ahead and get the machinery next, because I really want to get these blast furnaces. So we can uh, actually really start making use of all this iron and copper and stuff that we have. So a lot of improvements available now uh, because of that, that tech, so we can improve the midden in order to get more sanitation. Let me see, do we want to rush this out? It's 311, currently have 596. How much would this one cost? This one will be 51. We'll go ahead and rush this one out for Gaul. So they'll get the stone towers, get us that exploration XP. And now let's get that Parthenon on for the culture and that 1.75 knowledge, which is better than what the, uh, the other knowledge buildings generally grant you. Usually you just get one knowledge from them. Uh, like the, the Privy Council here, this would get us two since we didn't get the, the previous upgrade, but it would also take 14 turns. Man, normally the upgrades give you one extra knowledge. This gives us 1.75, so not bad. It only takes eight turns, and you also get the culture from it and a rest suppression, which is uh, helpful. So we probably won't rush this out right now because we are watching chaos increase. I mean, we'll probably be okay, but we can wait one more turn, guys. It's kind of expensive for rushing. Uh, let's go and get the expedition started, or, or this one we've already started. We're moving to the next stage. Since we don't really have a whole lot of units to upgrade anymore, I think we're gonna go ahead and pay the 30 warfare experience to increase the success, the success chance there. Upgrading these middens would be really cheap and doubles their usefulness to us. So let's go to upgrade both of those so that we no longer have any issue with sanitation. We're getting the full 200% here in Rome. Uh, they still don't have a lot of uh, extra population when you compare them to Ravenna here. So I think we should focus on them. Uh, we will go ahead and get their trash heap as well. Could upgrade the lodge to the poorhouse. That would increase unrest. But we're, we're pretty good on that here in Ravenna. 
And that's going to greatly increase our housing. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we don't want to construct any of the furnaces until we get the, the blast furnace so we can make use of all this iron and copper we have here. Uh, we don't need food, so don't need to get any more mills or, or the bakery or anything like that. So I think we should turn that cotton into something a little bit more useful. So we'll get the weaver, and that'll get us some more well. And that's also all of our improvement points. Right, excellent. So we need 160 here for the trade network. And that'll be the next thing that we get for our, spi for our spice merchants. Uh, here we're still waiting for the 85. And we're getting 28 improvement points per turn. Uh, you see that Ravenna has gained control of this location here, so you'd have to improve that if you want that extra housing. You could also just get rid of it if you didn't want it. Attack our explorer here. And he destroyed him, so he's not an issue anymore. And then, yeah, I guess we'll go and attack here and see how they do. Uh, it says it's going to be a draw, so they won't win. I don't know how many turns this is going to take, though. They're doing pretty good damage to the walls. Yeah, just one more turn, we should have it done. Those heroes are still pretty good compared to the barbarians, which never update themselves. They're always, they're always crappy. They get a little bit better, you know, early in the game, as we've seen with the barbarian warlords. And they'll get like the cab units and stuff, but uh, after that, they never improve any further. So they become less and less of an issue. So this is phase three for this jungle expedition, and we're gonna have to take the risks here. Cause yeah, I do want the exploration XP. I don't really want to drop down to 70. But, you know what? Maybe we should do that. Because, yeah, maybe you go up to 100% here of success. Or, maybe you drop down to 60. So, you know what? Let's just drop down to 70 and get something for it. Something that we want. I think that's the best option in that particular case. So, Mount Fuji is now done. And so, we'll start moving through here. We'll uncover what we can. We'll just, like, go around this mountain. There might be another mountain in that tile, though. And then you can't go through there. But we'll see. We'll see what's over there. And then this guy is going to go over here. So he's making his way over to Tall Mountain. And these guys are fairly healed up. So let's go ahead and, and start moving towards taking out these two units here. And Rome has finished up the construction of the Grand Theater. That's going to get us more art experience. So somebody asked why I wasn't upgrading to the Market Square. Simply because it doesn't give you more Diplomacy XP. All it grants you is one more foreign import slot, which is helpful because we'd get uh, another culture, but you got to trade for that as well with money. And so is it really better than the other things that we could be getting, like upgrading the water works for more sanitation, which we don't need at this particular moment, uh, or upgrading the lifting tower, which is what we're going to do. Upgrade to the lifting tower, I should say, to get more improvement points. So let's go and construct another plantation over here in Constantinople. So we get that other additional adjacency bonuses here. Uh, we do need to spend that engineering XP, by the way. So I gotta make sure I do that this turn here. Uh, so we could improve that location for more food. They're already at 200%. So go ahead and do this one. Uh, they actually do need food here, and they have a ton of adjacency bonuses. So this is really not the, the worst place, actually. To so go up ahead and boost up to level three. That's 12 wealth and nine food. And then we'll also go ahead and do this location. And that gets them up to level 3. And that means that there's only one town that isn't level 3, so might as well boost them up as well. Alright, excellent. So really stepping up that wealth per turn. Alright, so we'll move on to the next turn. And we should hopefully be able to get uh, that next Spice Merchant uh, upgrade here soon. Looks like it'll be exactly three turns. Uh, we do have the ability to get the upgrade here. Should have already got that, so let's get the Royal Court. Now, you may have noticed that I do keep forgetting that I'm supposed to get in the, uh, the upgrade over here, getting this improvement, and we're not getting the alerts because we never let it get up to 48. Uh, so that's the reason why we haven't gotten the alert about it. We need to do that, guys. So I'm not going to spend any more improvement points. Uh, so we actually have two explorers sitting here now. Do we have anywhere else for them to go? For them to like, is it worth splitting them up here at this point? Or have we gotten everything? Yeah, unless we find something down here, but you already got somebody moving over there, so you'd have to have like two locations to make that worth it. So for now, we could just keep them together. 
no reason to split them up. Yeah, and there's probably not anything to explore over here, so I think we're pretty much done. Might want to have them go out to sea, but that's always risky if you don't have somebody escorting them. Yeah, there's nothing over here either. Okay, so we might be done with our exploration now until we find uh, the next continent or go out to sea. So let's go and do this expedition here in Tall Mountains. We're just going to pay the wealth for the 10% success chance. That's a real easy one to get, so might as well. And let's go and attack these guys over here. And then we'll go after them. And one more attack on the Barbarian Camp will be enough here. And we can go and get another 50 Exploration XP. Excellent. So moving on, on along towards getting that Insight. And the Tropical Rainforest is now concluded. Though you got a 70.00001% chance of success here. Alright, so yeah, let's go ahead and, and see if we succeed. This is 100 Exploration XP, so that would get us up to the 300. We'd also get the 50 Knowledge. And we were successful. Excellent. And so now we can go ahead and take the Insight. And we have what we need, and, and an additional 1% uh, research reduction. But we have what we need to get to the Age of Alchemy. So we just have to finish up machinery, do one more tech, and that will be done in one turn. And do one more tech, and then we're good to go. Our spawning artist is uh, 61. It's not quite there yet. Alright, so let's go and enter turn, and we'll get that next tech, and we'll have to select what we want to get after that for our final tech in the age. Of course we'll come back and, and research the later ones, uh, research the other ones later. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do the open borders again. I, I didn't want the open borders to end in the first place. You guys did that. Let's go back into their territory. So they seem to, they, they can't make up their mind whether they like us or not. All right, so we already have the two guys going down there. And again, there's not really anything to do other than going to sea, which is kind of a death wish for a transport unit. There's so many barbarian canoes out there that they'll probably die. And so I think we'll just move them back up to our territory. It'll take six turns to get over to here. So in this case I think we're going to take the 30 government XP. So we can try and move through here. And the next one we want to get is the diplomacy XP from the vassals at 125. Uh, this one would be helpful too. But I think you really need to get this one. Maybe we should go ahead and get that before we get this, just because it takes so long to save it up. Yeah, you know what, guys? Let's go ahead and get this, so we'll start ticking up the prosperity per turn. Yeah, I think it would be wise to go ahead and get that. These guys will attack this barbarian army here. Get them wiped out. And... I don't know if there's anybody else for them to attack. I mean, you could just move over here just because there's nothing to do. Just uncover the coastline. But yeah, they didn't get any experience there, as I was hoping they would. Uh, and then this guy is going to go over to... We haven't done this one, right? Yeah. So we're going over to the Mysterious Jungle now. So we finished up this tech here. And so this is great because we unlocked the, the last furnace. But this is one of the things we've been lacking. Getting the clay and then turn it into bricks here for the improvement points. And I think that's why we've been so much shorter than I, I generally am when it comes to improvement points. Yeah, the Blast Furnace will be super helpful. So once we have improvement points available, since those ones are already spoken for, then we'll go ahead and uh, start getting uh, getting the Blast Furnaces. So we could get a unit here. We can also get the Finance, because we do have a lot of uh, locations we'd want to turn into textile mills. The warehouse is nice too because I get you the domestic export slots. We don't have any of those yet. But I kind of want to do the printing press because I really want to start turning uh, paper into books. I think that'd be useful. All right, so we do have the ability to construct. We'll just put it. We already know we want it right here. We're going to construct this finally. And uh, we need another one over here. In fact, I might even wait so we can try and get this a little bit quicker. Yeah, might even wait to just go ahead and get another one, and not spend any more points here. Yeah, let's let's do exactly that. Uh, Naples can go ahead and rush the mausoleum, and then the next thing we'll want to get could get another knowledge point here. But they do need sanitation, so let's go ahead and get the the waterworks, so we don't have to use our extremely short improvement points for that. 
All right, so just looking to see if there's anything else we need to do over here. Uh, we can spawn an artist. So we'll do that once we get the next culture power. We can also do the immigration. That would always be an option. I want to make sure that we have the points for the artist, though, once we get the uh, the next culture, which is just one turn away. So technically, we could go ahead and rush it out because we are swimming in money at this moment. Yeah, we're doing all right. All right, so well, let me go ahead and move this guy. Uncover what's whatever's over here. Doesn't look like much. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so we made it all the way down here. So let's get these guys out of here. And continue the expedition of the Tall Mountain. So could get the 30 Exploration XP. Could spend some to get to another 10% success chance. Or could spend the Engineering XP. You know what, let's go ahead and spend the Engineering to get the 10%. And yeah, there's nothing for these guys to do now. So let's go ahead and go back over to here, I suppose. Yeah, I'm just rebuilding the, the coastline here. And we can now start this expedition here in the mysterious jungle. Okay, so we can spend the warfare to get a 10% or just get some well. Yeah, we'll spend the warfare. Increase our, our success chance there. All right, so let's go ahead and construct the next one here. And we can still improve the mines here. And this will get us double the iron. But we need to improve the last furnace, so we're just going to save our points. We will spend our money here to rush the culture, though. And could get an additional town. Kind of looked at those, though. We don't really need one anywhere else. It wouldn't hurt to let the uh, the borders extend a, a little bit, so we can put the, the towns in some, some better locations. Now, Rome is about to lose the efficiency bonus. So could go ahead and get uh, that restarted. Just kind of keep that in Rome all the time. So yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. So I got the additional five turns again. We did waste one turn, but that, that's okay. And then let's go ahead and get the artist. And go ahead and get another culture. You know, I think we're gonna do the local reforms again in Ravenna. Yeah, we haven't done it here yet. Stuff up their production, their other needs, so they can, uh, you know, try and uh, grow a little bit quicker. Because they have fallen behind Rome by quite a bit. We want our second city to be, our second uh, glorious city to be more glorious. And so, yeah, we'll boost them a little bit. We're just like swimming through the, the culture there. Alright, so this war continues between these two powers. And we did get our innovation events, Armored Vehicle. So engineers in Rome have drafted designs for a new kind of vehicle of war, an armored apparatus that is shielded on all sides and can host many men to fire weapons from within. A very, a very curious invention. And so this unlocks the armored vehicle. And so kind of like an early uh, tank unit. So it becomes obsolete in age seven. So this is an interesting unit because it has really low attack. That attack is terrible. It has no modifier either to improve the attack. But look at the defense. The defense is 60. That's crazy. And then look at the morale. 999. That essentially assures that it, it can never uh, be forced to retreat from morale. You can only reduce its health. And yeah, just defeating it, period, is going to be difficult because of the, the 60 defense. So yeah, we're going to set that. Maybe construct one. Get an early tank just for fun. Why not? Alright, so yeah, these guys, I suppose, need to head back home. We've explored the entirety of our continent, which seems kind of small. You know what? We got like more than half the continent. I guess their half of the continent is kind of small with this little dividing point. So these two have no choice but to like destroy each other. Try and conquer each other's territory. So let's keep these guys moving along. And this guy as well. I wish you didn't have to do it this way. I wish you just kept moving. Because I mean, you already gave them orders. So this is the conclusion for the mountain expedition. 70% chance of success. A ton of engineering XP with the knowledge. And we failed. Of course we did. <laughs> Alright, so now we need uh, to send somebody else over there. Okay, we got this guy here. He's the closest. I'm not going to spawn another one right now. Because we have other ones that are coming from the south that won't have anything to do. Uh, in fact, you have one here. So you could send this one over there. I don't know if they would be closer or not. I'll have to take a look at that next turn. Like, who's the closest one? It would be this guy if he wasn't already doing an expedition. 
So we get another 30 government XP or spend 30 exploration to increase the success chance, which is currently at 60%. Yeah, let's go ahead and do. We'll do that. And we're going to go to get the plus 5% vassal prosperity return. Could have already gotten that. Let's go and get it now. So we'll start increasing prosperity up uh, everywhere. Uh, in addition, I'm sure Hiroshima is done with the merchant. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get him ejected and then send him over to Osaka. Go ahead and start increasing theirs up to 300%, getting us more goodies. And you'll see we are also getting that uh, government domain power. So this is going to be stepping up a lot quicker now. An 18.12 return because, yeah, we're getting some from our vassals just a little bit. That's going to get better and better. Our uh, Venice ha has finished up their construction of the throne room. So more diplomacy XP as well as government XP. I love that knowledge. Let's go for the medieval university. I like really moving through the tech tree as quickly as I can. And we won't rush that out right now. Probably nothing else. Well, we could rush this out. We're, we're actually doing pretty good money, so we could rush both of them out. Whatever, it's fine. So let's get the left wing towers constructed. And then I think we should probably get more of the bow hunters. I do want to get the armored vehicle, but you got to have a workshop present in the region, which we don't have yet. So we don't have the tech for that. So that's unfortunate, but we're going to get the the bow hunter and start constructing these because there are more locations around our empire that we haven't taken advantage of, particularly when it comes to Ravenna. They have a location here. I thought they had one more, but maybe we already got that. But yeah, you got that location there. So we at least need one more. We already got this one. That might be it. Oh, there's two over here. So we can send uh, one over to here as well. So that's three more bow hunters. To be able to, to have one in every single potential location. So now that we have that uh, Hall of Heroes in Constantinople. So let's go and get that mausoleum here. And then we need to improve these here to the blast furnaces. So get both of those. And we're now making better use of all of our iron and copper here. And we need to start getting some blast furnaces in Ravenna next. Probably get one constructed here once we have uh, the points for that, 38 points. Because they don't have any furnaces yet. So it'd be really helpful to get Ravenna's production up. Yeah, these two are just exhausting each other in war. But again, I think it's necessary, given the circumstances, how uh, small this area really is. And they share it. They have no room for expansion. And we kind of locked down the north. Though not fully, I would like it to be a little bit more locked down than this because there is some space here where they might try and expand to. Uh, I've been thinking about purchasing these tiles here before they get it. Like purchasing this and then this and just completely lock down this area. But there's so many other things we want to uh, spend our claimed territory on. So yeah, we need more exploration XP. So probably stop using it on the expeditions and, and actually try and get it from the expeditions. And yeah, we'll just go to this location here. Just reveal the coastline. So this is the third of the four. It's a forest fire. Lightning from last night's storm starts a blaze in the dry forest underbrush. The expedition tries to circle the fire, but smoke and flames are everywhere. So you can run for, uh, run for it, reducing the successions. Instead, make a secure shelter. Spending some engineering XP. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll get it up to 80%. Since the next step is the uh, conclusion of that. Alright, so Rome needs to continue the construction of these bow hunters. I wish you could, like, stack them. Say, hey, I, I want several more of these. Alright, so we're going to send this one over to... Okay, so neither of them need food. So we're going to do this location first and this one and then we'll do the one over here you know what actually this gives you the expiration xp and improvement points because that's not the deer so we should move over there first is there anything else we want to rush out here that'd be 300 yeah sure we're going to rush that out and start working on i suppose the mausoleum next they do need food, so you can get the granary. Since we're using our improvement points for other things. 
Sure, why not? Not really focusing on Gaul much. So let's go ahead and get that uh, last furnace here. And then we'll make, need to make use of the new ingots that we got. Either turn them into tools or to get the uh, warfare experience. Something we haven't really needed lately, uh, but uh, we will need as we get more text that uh, allow us to upgrade our units. Let's go move on to the next turn. See, Rome is currently at 24 population, Ravenna's at 18. 30 is kind of the threshold number for a city. That's when the late game needs will become available. Uh, of course, they, they won't become available until the age where they unlock. Uh, but most of them require that the population be 31 before you even have to satisfy that need. All right, so we should probably get... They do have spare population here. So let's make use of these ingots that we got. I'm tempted to just get more tools. I know we don't exactly need the production at this moment, but eventually we will as we get more buildings unlocked. And the reason why, because if we look at this, a weaponsmith, you're taking one ingot and turning it into to one spear to get the two warfare experience. And the warfare experience, there's not a lot we can do except for saving it up to get this uh, bonus here for the social fabric. So there's that. We don't really need to be spawning, spawning more volunteers. And we're just not at war, so we don't really need need this at the moment. Yeah, I think we'll just get the toolsmith here. And then maybe focus on Ravenna. Come back over to here. Because yeah, we're not doing, not doing anything with the ingots yet. And we need another blast furnace in addition to that. Uh, do we want to improve this or just get rid of it? 21 points. We don't really need the housing over here. Yeah, sure. We'll just get rid of it. Get a few of those improvement points back. Not much. But yeah, I don't want to uh, spend the points to improve it. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get another another blast furnace here. Because yeah, we're getting a ton of a ton of iron. Oh, this is 38 points. So we're short just four. So we will have to wait. Uh, we do have the ability to go ahead and get the trade network. So this effectively makes trade posts completely free. And so we should now make use of that. Uh, we're going to get this here. But yeah, what we need to do is, is start spawning some pioneers and then moving them anywhere where they could get us those goodies. So there's a few locations. This will soon be in Gaul's borders. You don't want to be too close to your borders because then you're not expanding out that way. So it wouldn't be any of those areas. Here, yeah, here would be all right. You have to put it, you could do it right here to get these two, or right here to get these two, basically. So yeah, we're gonna wanna make use of the uh, the pioneers now, because we can build these easily and cheaply uh, for free. Uh, don't get any cheaper than free. Uh, so is that the, the last bow hunter we need? No, we need one more. So let's get the last bow hunter here. And get all of these guys moving back up north. Oh yes, I wanted to see how many turns it would take to get to the tall mountain with each of these units. So this would be a total of seven turns. Let's take a look at these guys. Eight turns. Okay. Probably quicker than this guy. And we can take a look real quick. Five turns. Okay, well he's gonna get there the quickest. We'll send him then. And this is the conclusion for the Deep Forest Expedition. There's good timber and trapping in this woodland. If it is well managed, the forest will provide bounty for centuries to come. 80% chance of success. And we succeeded. Excellent. Some more exploration XP. Alright, lovely. So, we do have the exploration XP now that we can go ahead and build a town for one of these locations once we get the culture uh, because we can make use of the, the claimed territory a couple times if need be to put it in a, a better location. All right, so these guys don't really have anything to do. So just let them heal up. I mean, your units, we're not at war, so they don't have any uh, real use. So I suppose we could start using the diplomacy XP for other things, like maybe some merchants here because we don't really need to get the vibe well here for the 70. 
Uh, merchants would produce far more wealth than that. Uh, that we don't really need this. And then can't get this until we have 10 trade post improvements. And it would only cost one anyways. So yeah, I think we'll start getting ourselves some, some merchants. And again, we'll, we'll focus on prosperity first and integration. So what we could do is, is move Kyoto towards integration using this. That's a plus five. They're currently at uh, 29 to 50, so that'd be 21 turns. So that'd be one option. But yeah, I think spawning the merchants would be a little bit more useful for right now. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. We're gonna spawn this merchant over here in Yokohama. Let's start getting there. Prosperity increased. We're currently at 160%. So we'll start working on that. But yeah, we can spend the Diplomacy SP for some other things now. Yeah, Kyoto, uh, Kyoto will be uh, integrating them as soon as we're able to. So using that uh, Diplomacy power, Domain power, would be helpful. Alright, so these guys moving over to this location while well, they're moving over to here. And then we'll have the last one go over to here. So Rome has finished up their construction. We could get more units. We don't really need because we're not at war. We could get more units. That'd be an option. We don't have any of the dragoons yet. I think we'll get the, the waterworks because you can pull a population off of one of the trash heaps if you needed to. So we'll get that and it'll be helpful in the future. So let's just go ahead and get it knocked out. And then after that, we should probably work on a project so we can get improvement points and get knowledge. This would be only 6.3 knowledge, but still helpful. While well, this would be 25 improvement points per turn. And I think that would be the better way to go because we have so much stuff we need to do when it comes to improvements. And we've just been really behind. So that's one way we can easily catch up, guys. So that's what we'll do. Uh, so we're going to get the uh, blast furnace here. And we still have four available, so we can get another blast furnace, and then we can turn them into to tools, or we can turn them into tools first. That'd be an option as well. It's only 23, so let's go ahead and do that. Just really stepping up the production here in Ravenna, which is currently sitting at 56 now. And yeah, these guys are almost up to back up towards our territory here. And then this unit, if there's any barbarians to attack, we'll do so, but I'm not seeing any. Nope. Okay. There might be some that will spawn over here. Or not spawn necessarily, but uh, there's all those ones that are going to be out at sea in canoes that will land. And you'll see barbarian cabins get set up as well in those type of areas. Yeah, there's nothing to do with this guy here, so it's going it's to start moving them north as well. Well, he moves the opposite way, moves south, so we can try that tall mountain again. And then I guess this guy's done here. So we do finish up our technology, the printing press. Excellent. Uh, so that's the, the paper mills, so you can get more paper. And then the printing press. So we want that for the books, for the increased knowledge. So we can go ahead and start moving towards the Age of Alchemy, which is exactly what we're going to do. It's going to be nine turns. We'll get the rest of these, we'll come back and get them later. And yeah, none of these are just one turn, so we won't work on them yet. And we can go ahead and rush out the culture. So let's go ahead and do that. And then probably go ahead and get a town for Naples. We'd have to purchase two locations here. As far as uh, Gaul and Constantinople. So one of them needs to put a town right here. They take advantage of these three hills here, so like a mining town, and to construct a road between the two locations. So yeah, we'd want a town here. It doesn't really matter which one does that, but if we did Constantinople, gave them a town there, then Gaul could instead go this way, but it's kind of far. And uh, there's all this forest over here, so Lumber Town would make a lot of sense. So I think we should probably do that, or you could do Lumber Town over here, which is a bit closer. Can't get it completely surrounded, but this is not not bad. It's kind of close to that town, though. And what we want to do is get a town over here so it connects to Ravenna. Maybe to Edo. Uh, I don't know. You might be able to get it connected there if it's the five tiles away. So that's what I'm thinking when it comes to, to towns, guys. Lumber town here, mining town here. 
And then we already know we want to do the lumber town here for Naples, which is what we're going to work on right now. Let's go ahead and just claim these territories. Let's go with, it doesn't matter which one of these we grab, so it makes sense to get this one first for Naples. And then go ahead and claim this territory here. And that'll allow you to construct the town right there. And so there's the town. We got the road now going from Naples down to Ravenna. So just an additional road here. And then what we'll want to do is get the foresters around them. Turn this into a forest being a uh, forest based town. We'll go ahead and expand them now. Nope, not a not a mining town. Lumber town here. Alright, so that'll get Naples more production and also increase our, our well gain. Alright, so looking pretty solid there. Uh, we got 1420 in the bank here. So we really want to start working on those improvement points. So we could rush that out next turn. Looks like we've got a thousand though. It's kind of expensive. 921 from the medieval university. These buildings here are going to be a bit cheaper. Not necessarily that one, but uh, the ones here in Gaul. Well, they still got a lot of turns left. So yeah, we'll just wait. We'll just hold on to our money. Uh, feudal monarchy, we're saving up for this one here. So 125. So it's going to be a little while before we get that. Yeah, I want to, uh, to get that one before the, the improvement one. Even though this one's cheaper, it's only 60. Yeah, I want to increase the Vassal Prosperity Max. Take advantage of that. So we'll eventually have these guys all in place. Getting us more goodies there. And yeah, I guess these guys are just like sit here. I don't know what to do with them until we're able to go out to sea. We need to get some ships constructed, but we still don't have uh, the ability to do that just yet. We need to get... Uh, a water tower. I don't think we have. Well, we have one. Let's could do that here in Naples. And there is some, or at least one barbarian army over here. If we just wanted to use our army for something, get these guys some experience. Go over there and destroy them. And these guys will be here in just a couple turns. Alright, so let me take a look and see if we want to rush this. So this one's only 321. So let's go to rush it out. So we can start working on the levy workers. And that'll result in us getting a stack of improvement points every turn. It's pretty helpful. We'll also rush out the medieval university for more knowledge. We'll get the waterworks to improve their sanitation situation. And we still got a lot of money that we could spend if we wanted to. 550 for that, 460 for that. But we are watching chaos go up as well. Something to consider. Alright, so I think we're using a lot of the production here in Ravenna now. There's only the two pops still sitting here. I think Rome has three. So it makes sense to, to move over to producing there again. Using our improvement points there. Uh, but Naples also has five. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and do something here. Uh, we know we're going to get... Well, we know we're going to get the, the forest ones here. So we might want to wait until... We can uh, actually do those. Uh, we need to improve all this. Uh, they could use more food. So let's go ahead and get this farm improved here. So we'll improve all these. We haven't been making use of this yet to turn it into mills or anything at this point. Not in this particular location. We do have the stone cutters though. And then over here in Rome, there's just a ton of stuff to upgrade. We want to upgrade the paper maker. So we need to get the, the printing press. So yeah, we'll construct that, I don't know, over here or something. Once we have the improvement points. We'll go ahead and spawn another merchant. We'll work on integrating Kyoto. In fact, let's go ahead and do exactly that. Since it's kind of cheap here. It gets them up to 36 or 50. It's 14 turns now. So could do it one more time. And now they're sitting at 41 or 50. Nine more turns. Cause yeah, I like to get them integrated. Even though that you know, obviously our our kingdom government is uh, based around the vassals, and so by integrating, we're you know losing some of those bonuses from our government. All right, so these guys go ahead and start harvesting the goods here. 
And yeah, we now have 69 improvement points. So before I forget what I was going to do with those, let's go ahead and get the printing press here. So that's going to get us one book. That's knowledge and luxury. And then these guys, I suppose, could just like set up. I mean, it's not a good defensive location. Just set them up right here. It doesn't really matter, guys. Yeah, have them set here. And I do want to purchase these tiles here. Maybe we should do that. It's getting kind of expensive, so. I want to make sure we get them, though. I don't want them to get it. We'd wait until they get that, because they almost have it. And then we'd purchase these. Yeah, that's the better way to go. And then these guys just have them sit here. Moving back home. Yeah, you see these canoes all over territory here. Or out in the sea, I should say. And we probably should have spent those improvement points we have, but that's okay. We'll just spend them next turn. Should have a nice little stack at that point. See our vassals increasing their lands here. And I think at this point we really should start. Uh, we're going to start taking off now. Ah, damn it. They joined there, so i got to remember that they're over there. And then these guys will start harvesting this turn. Excellent. But yeah, I think we'll really start taking off now. Well, you know what? You can't get over here. I <laughs> think you'd have to go by sea. Okay. Well, we can go ahead and do that real quick. And then attack them next turn. And these guys are finally over to Tall Mountain. So we start working on this expedition. So we get the exploration XP to spend the wealth. I always like to just spend the wealth to get the increased success chance because that's, you know, cheapest way to do it. All right, so let's go ahead and spend our improvement points. Before we do that, let's go ahead and get this, uh, this one here. I could get this one as well for the extra diplomacy, but we don't really need it as much now that we have this. We'll still get it, uh, but I think this would be a better one to, to get at the moment. To increase the max vassal prosperity. That'd be helpful. Suppose we can also look at spending our wealth here in Naples, get the, the waterworks. I guess we'll work on knowledge. And let's see if there's anything else we might want to rush out. There's only 240. That one's 250. Could just rush them both out. So yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Try and get uh, these two cities caught up a bit. And you know what? Having the extra uh, influence would be really helpful. So let's go ahead and get the mausoleum here. Constantinople's going to be rushing that out now. Those will get the Parthenon. It's a solid building for us to get here. And now we need to spend the improvement points, and uh, Gaul seems to need it the most. Yeah. Sanitation has become an issue here. The waterworks would be too expensive for us to get right now. So it probably makes sense to just go ahead and get the trash heap. I don't like having it next to Gaul right here, though. You know, right next to the city. It's got a bunch of trash piled up over here. So not the uh, best location. We can always change that in the future though. It doesn't really matter. It just kind of bothers me. So put the trash heap here just so that they're getting the uh, full 200% bonus here. And let's go ahead and take a look at Rome. Because yeah, we know they have the spare population. They also have the housing issues. So we can't improve this building here. You're going to lose the expiration XP, but uh, you'll get the, the double the housing. So that would satisfy our need here. So let's go ahead and do that, but you also notice that we can change the poets over to the printing press. Now this does only result in one more knowledge since the poets grants knowledge already. And you're going to lose an art experience since you're not getting the poems. But you get the luxury. And yeah, I mean, eventually you want to upgrade them. It's only six improvement points, so we'll go ahead and do that. We always want more knowledge. All right, so... I suppose we can keep on working on the improvements. We could try and get more uh, for the wine here. Get more grapes. And then you could do an additional uh, winery. We'd need to get this over here. So yeah, we have to construct a, a plantation over there. Well, we have this new town over here. And get them up to, to level 3. And hopefully they'll spread over to these areas so we can get the... Uh, the adjacency bonuses. And we can always spawn an additional merchant. 
or work on integrating Kyoto a little bit faster. It's gonna be seven turns currently, so yeah, let's do it one more time. And that'll be it. So now it's just two more turns. And then we can go ahead and integrate them. And so any additional points that we get here that we wanna spend, we'll get the, the merchants. I think that's the best way to go now. You can see now that we're getting all those improvement points. We're getting things done. There's still a lot to do though. You see all these green arrows everywhere if we want to, to fully upgrade all those. What you eventually want to do. All right, so these guys are gonna go ahead and attack them on the hill. Just getting wiped out. They're just bothering me sitting over there. So we've taken the hill. And these are our heroes. Well, we're already at 80%, so let's go and get the government XP. So we can try and get the, the stewardship or the round table. I suppose we'll do this one first. So they can improve their stuff a little bit faster. And speaking of improvements, let's go and start working on uh, our cities again. So Rome still has just the, the one population currently, so we're really starting to use them up here now. But let's go ahead and get that uh, large plantation over here. And then we'll get the additional winery. I'll get us more culture. So now we're producing four wine. And of course, luxury is, is not an issue here at all. But Ravenna's having issues. Hmm. If we switch this over to Ravenna, then that would actually cause problems because we wouldn't have enough. Yeah, I don't think we'd have enough to get all the wine. When do we take that back? There is uh, one extra rice here. So we could actually switch this over. And so I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and, and change the linked region. Obviously, this is only a temporary solution since we're going to be getting rid of this soon. Uh, but yeah, I can help Ravenna grow a little bit faster. And they will maintain their, their full luxury bonus here. Seems that their sanitation has gone down some, but we're at 190%, so still pretty good. Ravenna is at 178. Sanitation is actually an issue here, so you might need to get another one of these trash heaps. Although, let me take that back, because uh, we get the waterworks here in just two turns. So that'll satisfy that. But yeah, now we have the luxury at 175%. So it's not too bad. So we'll take a look at the population of Ravenna and see the, how many of those are, are available. I think what we're gonna wanna do is probably go ahead and get, uh, we do need to pay this off here. Let's go and get Naples improved more. I know they have a lot of spare population. So we're just going to take the exploration XP since we're already at 80%. So that's pretty solid. It's not like we don't have plenty of explorers sitting around who could do this if this guy dies. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, so we can go ahead and rush out the waterworks here in Ravenna. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. Get their efficiency up a little bit higher. And for the next thing, the Oracle would be very quick to be constructed. We get the lifting tower as well, just get more improvement points, really just focusing in on the improvement points, since we do need so many of them. Just trying to catch up since we were behind for a while there. Uh, Kyoto is going to be 127 to integrate. Okay, so we'll want to wait to get these then and integrate Kyoto. Didn't even think about saving the government experience for that. Uh, let me just take a look. So Rena has three population currently available. Well, Naples still has quite a bit. So I think we should focus on them for a little bit here. So we can go and improve this, first of all, for the poor house. And we'll also improve this plantation here. And we need to, we need to get one more farm here for the adjacency bonus, just so I'm done with this area. And then we'll need to start making use of all that wheat. Because we got like a ton of it. This could start turning it into something else. Not that they really need food. Yeah, I suppose they don't actually need the food at the moment. Soon they'll have a ton of uh, lumber that we can make use of. So we won't upgrade these because yeah, food is just not necessary. I just want to get that constructed. I'll get that additional adjacency bonus there and just to be done. Because that's all the, uh, the farming stuff that we're going to be able to get for them. All right, let's go ahead and uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and rush this. We're gonna go ahead and get the cutting edge again. So we can start taking that up a little bit faster. Uh, we can't spawn an artist 
at the moment at the moment yet because we don't have enough could do the immigration again in Constantinople so let's go and do that while we still can get their population up do need to invest in them a bit as you see they're short on the housing so that's a bit of an issue okay so you know what let's go ahead and, and do that now oh as soon as we have the improvement points just too short to get any of these things done right now so this will be the last turn of the episode just really focusing on improvements in this one as well as moving forward as we try and get to the next the next age here all right so these guys should have them move up we don't have anything to do with them and this will be the conclusion for the mountain expedition let's see if we succeed this time and get that 100, 100 engineering and the extra knowledge all right so let's go and take care of constantinople's housing issue first and i suppose we'll get the the whorehouse here unrest should be all right it is not all right okay so we're gonna have to solve that uh, we have the parthenon currently being constructed so maybe we'll rush that out i like having the high density uh housing constructed next to the city because you get all like the skyscrapers later in the game so yeah that just looks uh it looks really good having them next to each other so i generally try and have them have that particular housing next to it you know it makes sense to have the suburbs a little bit a little bit further away from the city all right and then over here we're gonna get this plantation constructed get the cotton for the wealth and then we could turn that cotton into something because again we have all the, the population here but gotta wait until we get some more improvement points so now we need to go ahead and get a, a merchant spawn in one of our vassal cities probably do it over here yeah let's do it over here get them working on Zaragoza. We might go ahead and rename them They're over here in the desert. So let's rename them to Carthage. I know that Carthage historically, uh, that area, you know, it's in North Africa and it wasn't exactly desert. It was much uh, greener than it is today, but there were deserts a little bit further from the city and it's not all desert. Look, there's, there's jungle here. So there is a bit of green in the area. So yeah, we'll name it Carthage. And hopefully uh, we don't have a sender demanding that we destroy it for the rest of the game now. Uh, so as far as other things we could spawn here, we could start claiming some more additional territory. We'll save that uh, for when we get another town power that we want to make use of. Because so we need to get this one to claim right here. And then Gaul. Gaul is really far away from where I want to construct it there. So again, it might just be better to, to do it over here. I don't know. I, I feel like... Buying a couple ones here probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Like maybe this one and this one and then just put it right there. If that's close enough, I have to count it up. But you get the roads to here and then the roads to here. And yeah, I think that'd be fitting. The road might not go down here. I'd have to count that up. It seems like it's going to be a, uh, one or two tiles too far. But yeah, for roads, uh, we do want to get something constructed here. But if you did it here, so you're closer to Edo, yeah, you'd have to buy a lot of tiles. Maybe we wait till they grab this one, so you don't have to buy as many. Or this one, whatever, doesn't matter. Yeah, we, I think we did a lot of improvements of our territory. You know, spending all those points, particularly the, the extra points you're getting from Rome, which is 20.8 now. It's gone down since we no longer get that 50% uh, modifier there from the uh, culture power. But yeah, still a lot of points we're getting from Rome currently, and just allowing us to get everything improved and get caught up, because we're a little bit behind when it comes to our improvements. So investing in that, quite a bit and uh, remember we're saving the government experience to integrate Kyoto once we get to 127 but yeah I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode if you did make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe to our channel hit that notification bell and leave a comment do hope to see you on the next one and thanks for watching